We brought together, I think, an outstanding team of uh, co-organizers for the, uh, the breast cancer meeting. Uh, Laura Vantevere, who's a world expert in understanding how to profile the complexity of breast cancer and understand the genetic components and drivers. Um, we also include uh, TAC Mac, who's a, a, a world leader in understanding cancer immunology and also uh, DNA repair pathways and tumor suppressor pathways that are uh, uh, important in breast cancer development. And uh, Miles Brown, who's, who's a leader in estrogen receptor signaling, uh, and myself, who, who I, I work in the area of pediatric kinase signaling and, and P10, which are uh, major drivers in breast cancer development. So we think we bring together um, really major components of the disease in a, in a multidisciplinary way that, 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 that tries to um, uh, learn from each other um, because all, all, all of us sort of come from a very a different, unique perspective. It is a from A to Z type of, of meeting. We will have highlights on, for example, Richard Finn will talk about you know, the, 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 the drug that is the directed against CDK4-6 uh, for, uh, for estrogen-positive breast cancer. A big part of it will be devoted to the understanding of basal and where we could find some targets uh, because basal, it's just been hitting, <laughs> we've just been hitting our heads against the wall. And finally, I think one of the key would be there will be a session of four people to address why immunotherapy has not worked for breast cancer. And we bring together people who have tried, as well as people who have not tried, like Tony Rebus, to treat breast cancer. But he had had a lot of knowledge in treating melanoma and how that knowledge can be translated. We're also going to be uh, focusing on uh, profiling breast cancers. Um, there's been we've learned so much in the last uh, 15 or so years uh, using different kinds of uh, cancer profiling methods. Uh, it's allowed us to really figure out all the different subtypes of breast cancer and understand their their differences and similarities. Uh, and this this is just an evolving area that we're getting more and more um, information in. Um, not only from the point of view of uh, one sort of stage of development, but also looking at early disease and sort of um, uh, disease that's localized and then disease that's advanced and seeing what's changing over those periods of time. That, that's all very, very helpful. Our young investigators are the future. They're the ones who um, have the, um, they, they, they hold the baton for the next generation and they really um, uh, need to interact with the, the, the more senior community to sort of learn the ropes, uh, make contacts and interact uh, with, with uh, a, a group of, of, of highly focused and dedicated scientists from really from around the world. So this is a great opportunity for them to meet uh, their peers, uh, meet, meet some of the senior folks in the field, um, build bridges, build collaborations, um, and um, uh, also show off their, 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 their research. Uh, you know, if, if you're a young person and you don't have a national or international reputation, that's how you build a reputation is you, you come to these meetings and you, and you, um, and you present your work. And uh, if it if, if it's obviously meets the bar, uh, you know, you, you start to be uh, sought after in that area. With so much now known at the basic science level, at the at the genetic level, uh, at the at the you know the animal models level, we are looking for additional breakthroughs that will finally impact on the disease.